Pastor Kelly coming at you here, and uh, I've been aiming to do this video since I've seen the pictures of those uh, two doors in Las Vegas. Now, they're telling me the man fired 200 rounds through those two doors and never hit anything, never hit the second door, only this, the first door, the door on the left that you're looking at, which would have been the door on the right in the hallway. Vice versa, you know what I'm trying to say. Had zero holes in it. Now, the top part of the door was breached, supposedly, and there's a few holes in the pick on the very bottom uh, right-hand corner is what we'd be looking at, which would end be indicative of someone laying on the ground and firing. Well, I'm not going to do that, and I ain't rich by no means, but we're going to see about putting about uh, 20 rounds out of a uh, 7.62, uh, 8 rounds out of a... Uh, 45 auto and six rounds out of a 22 uh, target pistol and we're gonna do it as quick as we can pull the trigger okay which is exactly what that guy did and bump stock I don't own one wouldn't own one accuracy just you know accuracy is hard enough on some of my weapons the way it is any autos uh, yeah, give me a bolt action any day but that, I digress but um, we're gonna see what we can do you got it started? Yep. Okay, it's been a while since I fan fired a 22, but here goes nothing. Barely aiming. All right, we're going with the 45 now. We're going to get that thing as fast as we can get in that door, and I'm trying to hit it. Don't get me wrong, I'm trying to hit that door. Okay, here we go with the AK. We'll see what we can do and you'll see what's going on here and of course I'm gonna have to edit some of this you missed part of that last firing but you heard it you heard it Let's see what we get going on here all right here we go we were fan firing then we were center firing and then that fan fire which would have been like a bump stock if you look up here at the top I was aiming. I put a hole right here. Y'all see that? Yeah. You folks see that? I put a hole right there. Most of the AKs and the 45s went right here. But as you see, they're everywhere. We were aiming at the blue in the middle. Okay. Now you see the pattern there. That's, what did I say, 20... 29, 30, 36 shots. They say he put 200 through there. I want y'all to look the hole I put in the ground behind us, or we, my son and I, put in the, in the ground behind this thing, okay? And as I said, I was bump firing, or fan firing at 22, haven't done that in a while. And we had two shots come through that door. Right here, and right here. Now you tell me, you tell me, look at the back of that door and you look at that wall. That door would have been confetti. There wouldn't have been anything to breach if he put 200 rounds through that door. That hallway would have been confetti. The walls that shows crystal clear, that cart that was sitting there would have been confetti because you know, we were controlling these weapons because, you know, it wasn't automatics and they weren't bump firing. Those bump firings jar you everywhere because it's using the recoil of the weapon to make it, you know, like an automatic. These are all semi-autos. And, and you look at that. Can you imagine 200 rounds? That's not even the first clip. The way they're talking, he had uh, four clips of 50 or four magazines of 50, I should say. Somebody's going to gig me on that clip thing. Old habits die hard. I'm an old man. See? Anyhow, uh, there we are. There's the test I wanted to do. And I want you to look at the damage. And again, these are FMJs. I do not know what kind of rounds he was running. This is all ball ammo, uh, full metal jackets. 
and that's the damage you've done to that door, you know. And of course, the 22s were soft, but I still can't believe I fanned all the way over there too, but I did. But that that's just something else. I'll finish the video up in the house, talk to you a little bit more. Give you a little bit more wider angle here of that. And if you notice also, my wife just said, she just pointed out, there is none on the bottom. The only way that they could have got that in that picture right here is someone would have had to have been prone firing. Well, if that's the case, if they were prone firing, then all these rounds you see that are bump fire, or excuse me, fast fire that we did, we didn't bump fire, they did, <laughs> would have been here. They'd have cut the door in two, and they certainly would have put more rounds than the other one. There's a lot more to this than they're saying, folks. A lot more to this. There's, you know, if it smells like a fish, swims like a fish, it's probably a carp. And I smell fish. But as the good Lord always tells us, you might as well scream it from the rooftops because whatever is hidden will be exposed someday, somewhere, somehow. And he hates a liar. I just want to throw this in here real quick. These are the weapons we used. I can say I'm not a rich man. I can't afford all that ammo, just a waste. To do a test but uh, these were all full weapons and uh, Chris lay, lay that door down one more time get a broader view of it there of the door that we were firing on that's the back side and as you can see I don't know if you can see or not I did put one for sure I think a second might have been a ricochet but a second obviously I'm using a dirt backstop no danger to anything I live on 55 acres there ain't a home around but my own <laughs> beautiful out here though isn't it? anyway uh, just wanted to show you there's no way that what they're saying is true with those pictures uh, obviously uh, I will put a picture up with this video and compare that security what I'm doing been, yeah the security guard would have been weld on he walked into that and that, again that's 20 rounds in the AK 10 rounds in the 45 and 6 rounds in the 22 you know come on give me a break you know a security guard would have been toast and I'm glad he's not thank God he's not uh, you know I pray for the victims I pray for their families to heal of the dead the dead, I pray, is walking with Jesus. I pray that most of them were Christian and that they knew God and they were saved. You know, this is Pastor Kelly. I'm going to preach with it too. I pray every single one of them were saved and they're walking in heaven. But like I could say, I, I promised someone I'd make this video. I'm going to put it up here in a little bit. It's going to take a little while to render it. And uh, just show you folks. Uh, try to get the shake out of it and a few other things. And I'm going to put those pictures with it. Well... I think it's all I'm going to say for now, but uh, we'll see you and talk to you later on this here YouTube channel. It's Pastor Kelly. You pray for us. We'll pray for you as always. We love you, but Jesus loves you more. Pastor Kelly's out of here.